Thanks for the support as a channel member, Fire Soul. Oh, folks, I'm heartbroken. This might be the last time I ever get to wear my beloved thumb holes and gilet combo. Because I think I'm about to get sacked. Hello and welcome to Club 3, Part 8 of non Needs Legend. I'm Kevin. Coming up on today's episode, we might be allowed to play a football match. But first, I've got to do a meeting discuss, to discuss my future. The season hasn't started well, boys and girls, since you were last with me. This is what's gone on, obviously. You saw the first episode where we beat Owie, um, but then lost to Freiburg. And since then, it's only been four more games, but it does add up to five consecutive defeats. I can't help but feel I'm being judged a little harshly here because this is happening at the start of the season. I think if this happens midway through the season and we don't find ourselves sat in 17th place as a result of it, I get a little bit more time. But it has been a terrible start to the season. The 4-3-3 that worked so well for us last year has just been an enormous frustration. I think it was this game against Frankfurt where, yeah, we only managed to create two shots in the entire game. So for the following game, I switched to a vertical ticky-tacker midway through the match um, and it made a big difference. So... We was we were rubbish in the first half in this one with the control possession again. Switched to a vertical ticky tacker for the second half, um, and as you can see, we started to get back into the game. Um, we ended up creating a few chances. We ended up scoring a goal, getting back into it, and a ninety second minute goal for for them made it look a lot worse than it actually was for us. We then faced Dortmund away, which I know is the local derby, but I figured Dortmund away actually, if we play the way we did against Frankfurt and just defend, then we might be all right. So we went in with the control possession again. After half an hour, we were 3-0 down, so I switched back to the Gagan press. We went to the good old 4-2-3-1 Gagan press that we'd used at Peterborough, that we'd used at Leamington, and we looked really good from that moment on. We, didn't, we stopped the rot, they didn't score any more goals, and we looked lively. So then we used that system against Hertha Berlin, and this is the one that really hurts. Because against her to Berlin, we went back to the 4-2-3-1. We played very well. Um, as you can see, we were the better team. We created more chances, had more shots, more shots on target, better XG. We were just the better team. And as the 90th minute rolled around, we were 1-0 up. And then as we hit the 92nd minute, we were 2-1 down. And I think those two 90-plus minute goals might be the thing that ultimately ends up costing me this job. I think we've got a good team and a good squad, and certainly with the Gagan press, from what I saw in the second half against Dortmund and for the 90 minutes against Hertha, I think I think we'll beat Hamburg, and I think we'll beat Mainz. And you know what? Looking at those next four games, I think we'll win every game in October using the Gagan press if we're allowed to use it. But the board have called me in to discuss my position. Which, worryingly, they're talking about failure... Uh, no, where is it? Somewhere in here. Disappointed that I failed to keep my promise to maintain a harmonious atmosphere between the players. Well, I look at the dynamics. Where's the failure to keep a harmonious atmosphere? We've got an average club atmosphere, but what do you expect? We've lost five games in a row. Win a couple of games, that bounces back up. We have no players who are unhappy. The board have lost their minds. I, can, I didn't check this before we moved, and I should have done, because this was one of the reasons... We didn't go to Walsall way back when. Are they Saki? Are they a Saki club? Um, so the guy who was there at the start managed to last six years in the job. But then since then, they've had him for 227 days and then he left. The next guy had 228 days and got sacked. I've had 348 days and might be about to get sacked, despite how well we did last year, despite the fact I was given no money to spend in the summer, had to sell to buy, have put together a solid squad, even on the individual things. Two of the three notable criticisms are they're unhappy we didn't get more money loaning out youngsters. If that's all you can criticise me for, maybe I'm doing all right. Let's see what they've got to say. We're not happy with your current performance and are considering your position at the club. We'd like to know why you think the team have performed so badly. Because you didn't give me any money to spend, Christian, you cretin. Um, we've had a lot of injuries, no... Hard fixture list, not really. Ignore the form. Oh, trust the process. I might give him a trust the process. We're playing well and that will eventually shine through. Trust the process. 
Um, that's to do with fixtures again. I hold my hands up and admit we've not been great. I don't want to get into a have to win three of the next five games situation. I think I'm going to say that. Unfortunately, we need to see tangible proof in that table. and That hasn't been the case. We've not got to be serious. I've got to get the thumb holes out. Um, you have to give me some more time. I beg you. I'm not begging them. Tell me what I need to do to save my job. I might say that. I promise you things will look a lot better in a month. Give me until then. I really want to make a promise. I don't think this club needs any more upheaval. Trust me to get the job done. I'm going to ask for the chance. We're sorry it's come to this, but we have no choice but to fire you. We would rather it didn't come to this, but we wish you all the best for the future. They've actually gone and sacked me. I'm flabbergasted. Even when I did the intro bit and was talking about being sad about... I genuinely thought I'd wear this gilet many more times. I spent £70 on stuff I've only worn once. I, I bought slash rented that house with the telly extractor fan. What on earth am I supposed to do now? That has got to be the harshest sacking I have ever seen in Football Manager. They didn't even give me a chance. They've sacked me five games after giving me no transfer budget in the summer. What were they expecting me to do? Well, I guess I need to go and put a suit on if we're doing job hunting. What on earth has just happened? Well, I've gone on holiday, got my suit on, ready for interviews. I've set it to apply for any jobs that become available. Oh, what's all this? I don't really want to. Yes, I'd like to go to Ipswich. Ipswich would be great. Let's respond to that first. Because I've, I can see I've got an interview at Solihull Moors. I'm not going to it. I feel like at this stage, I am above that. I've been in, in the last year, I've been in the Premier League and the Bundesliga. I'm not going to Solihull. Um, every manager, um, can I say I want the job? It's results business and their results speak loud and clear. Let's get Phil Neville sacked and get into his job. Um, would I be keen on undertaking such a role? Yes. Um, yes, I would. I would like to manage Ipswich, please. QPR, yeah, QPR would be good. I'd take QPR. Solihull, less so. National League, get out of town. Let's go back on holiday for a bit. So, go away indefinitely. Apply for manager jobs at any clubs. I don't really know how this drop-down works. I kind of want... I'm thinking, surely, I can get a job at sort of championship level. But I am thinking back to many years ago. The last time I got sacked in these kind of circumstances on YouTube, years ago, we went to tour in France in Ligue 1. I got sacked and the highest level job I could get was in League 2. Really hope I'm not dropping all the way back down to League 2, but I don't really know. It's higher division clubs like Championship and above, lower division clubs, League 1. I think I'm just going to apply for any jobs and then... That way, once we're offered the interviews, we can decide whether or not we're interested in having them. But I think certainly until Christmas, because remember, I was on a lot of money at Schalke, and to sack me, they would have had to have paid and given me a significant payoff. So I don't need to take the first jobs we come up. Like, I don't need to go to Brazil. I'm not going to Brazil. Um, I'm not going to Southport. The Ipswich, QPR, I'm giving myself until Christmas to get a job at that kind of level. And then we'll see what happens. Southport, though. I mean, they're in the National League North. I'm not restarting the series at this point. That would be madness. I don't want to go to chat, whatever chat is. Go on holiday again. Same thing. Apply for jobs at any clubs. See what happens. Please, somebody, go, go give me a good job. Uh, posh, posh, want me back to Leamington. Imagine, I could go back to Leamington. 
The thing is, they're both doing quite well. Last time I checked, Posh were in an automatic promotion spot in the championship. Leamington are safely mid-table in League 2. I don't think there's any chance of either of them taking right. Imagine if I end up back in the same league as Leamington after all this time. <laughs> it will just make me so sad. Oh, dear me. Does anyone want to buy a big bag full of Schalke stuff? It's less than a week old. I'm recording this on Friday afternoon. That stuff arrived Monday lunchtime. I've been in possession of that stuff for four days. And I love it so much. I've just I've just got into the other room and said to Anna, I can't wear my gilet anymore. Apart from like around the house and when we go out places, and I've been forbidden from wearing it in those situations as well. The next club, one of the primary criteria is going to be they need a decent gilet in their club shop. Now, that would be remarkable if we ended up at Exeter because the situation I just described from all those years ago where we ended up back in League Two after leaving Tour, the club we ended up at was Exeter. That would be an, a very unusual piece of, piece of symmetry. QPR fans dismiss Chapman interest. See, that's a problem. If QPR, who are in a championship relegation battle... Are like, not a chance. Sackings are so powerful in football management when it comes to reputation. What is my reputation? So I've got a, is that a two and a half? or a th I think it's a two and a half star reputation. So the likelihood, the likelihood is I probably have to match that up to a club. So QPR have got a three star reputation, so they're not going to be interested in me. Exeter, who are offering me a job interview, who are in League One, that's probably not the worst job I could get. Two and a half stars, so it matches up. I think... I think we're probably looking at a League One job. I voluntarily left the Premier League a year ago. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna end up below Posh, marginally above but marginally above Leamington. Right, Exeter or Mansfield. Mansfield at bottom of League Two. Not interested in Mansfield. Exeter. I mean, they are bottom of League One. They are rubbish. You know what? At this stage, I think I still decline. And we just hang around until Christmas, waiting for something good to come up. I'm going to keep doing this. I'm not going to show you the whole process. If we get an interview somewhere I'm interested in, I'll obviously show you it. Otherwise, we'll get to January the 1st reassess and come up with a new plan. I'd like it on record, of course, that Schalke, using my system and my players, did go and beat Hamburg in the next game. So they're now out of the relegation zone again. And I imagine the board are delighted. They've hired this guy who was at Fortuna Dusseldorf. Should we get that job? Could we get that job? I feel like I've got beef with Schalke now. But that's not the level of jobs I'm being offered. If we look at the job centre, um, I've applied for Norwich but they're not interested. I've had nothing out of them. I've had nothing out of Swansea. The jobs that I'm getting interviews are are at League One, League Two level. Oh, conference. I'm not. No, I can't go to the conference south. Oxford, League Two. <sighs> Despite offering you an interview, the board do have slight reservations about your suitability. To deliver the club's highly ambitious visions for the future. This may result is it's mainly as a result of your slight reluctance towards playing attacking football. Have you met me, Niall? Right, talk to me about Oxford. Is Oxford an exciting job? Never managed Oxford before. They've recently been relegated from League One. How big's their ground? Is this is this something we can build something out? I feel like I need, after the last couple of jobs, I need three or four years at a club now to rebuild my reputation. They got money? How long do they keep managers for? Oh, Gordon Bennett. Not very long. Oh, no. That's, I think, I think, I mean, it's League Two, that's the problem. Oh, I've turned down a League One job and it's not Christmas yet. Kev, stick to your guns. We're going to League One. Right, this is more like it. Norwich in the Premier League. They are bottom of the Premier League. They're Norwich. Zero points from their first seven games. This is basically, it would be a case of travelling back in time a year and, 
effectively picking up Peterborough where I left them. I left them seven games in. We'd actually won a game at that point. There's very little chance of saving Norwich because it's Norwich in the Premier League. I think we all know the drill, or they have survived the last couple of years. Um, but the fact they're offering me an interview, I see as promising. One of the reasons they've offered me the interview is because they feel I'm a good fit for the club's ambitious vision for the future. This is mainly a result of my deep commitment towards signing players no older than 23. That's the thing that got me the job at Schalke. This this uh, signing under 23s thing that you lot all mock me for in the comments. There are clubs that like that, and Norwich seem to be one of them. I've shown loyalty to every club I've ever managed. It's fair to say you failed to live up to expectations at your former club. They didn't give me long enough. If I got the job, I'd have no trouble in meeting your expectations. Everything's set up for success here. You're in for a few jobs right now. Are you hedging your bets? I mean, I've got I've got a German I've got German rent to pay. Who am I talking to? Jason. I've got German rent to pay. I know how it might look. It's so it's up to you as to whether it will. No, I don't want to say that. I'm doing whatever I can to keep progress. I'm merely considering my options. We want to ensure the dressing room atmosphere is much better than our previous manager. Yeah, I'm good at that. Ignore what the last board said. Don't apply for references. You won't understand them. They'll be in German. We parted company with our last manager much sooner than we anticipated. Can you offer insurances? You won't be a repeat of that. Well, as long as you don't sack me, it's my intention to commit to a long and successful career with the club. It is. I need three or four years somewhere. Yes, I'll work with a director of football. I don't care about my backroom team. I'll work with whoever's already here. Possession football, youth system, sign young players. I mean, this is my dream. This is what I want. If hired, we'd be expect you, you we would expect you to bat, battle to avoid relegation. Um yeah, because that means I can get relegated and keep the job. A transfer budget of 20 million. Oh yes. Oh yes. Now that's gotta be a glitch. You're offering me a wage budget of £20 million a week, Norwich. I think we might be okay. I think that's probably transfer budget and it's just glitched a little bit there. Right, I want this job. I really, really want this job. Am I the favourite for it? Who the... Zlatan Ibrahimovic? Who asked him? He's actually older than me. That's baffling. Um, can I Have I declared interest? I want this job. Let me go to Norwich. It's not even that far from where I lived in Peterborough. I, I can move back into my old house. Oh, no, don't save. I can't reload now. Oh, it's all gone wrong. I can't just go back to Schalke and pretend none of this ever happened. Curse you, auto save. There's going to be so many people in the comments who think that that's. I've just accidentally outed myself as a reloader. Oh, the way I'm feeling. I don't care if you think that. I'm having, a, I'm having a bad day. I have no idea how this might impact me getting the job or not. There's also a potential takeover going on at Norwich. I feel like that's probably not a good sign. They're not going to be in any hurry if there's a takeover in process. I've decided I'm not holidaying anymore. I'm focusing in on this and being a bit more discerning about what jobs I apply for because I keep getting offered interviews and turning them down. I don't want to burn bridges at clubs I might have to go and work at later in the year because I've turned them down now see now this is another big job Fortuna Dusseldorf the guy who got the Schalke job left this lot so yeah I'd go back to Germany absolutely I'd go back to Germany some people might be concerned at your lack of experience of managing in this country I mean I literally still live here at the moment Lars I finished 10th last year finished above you so there's that isn't there Lars I need to adjust my interview attitude um, you're right, I do lack like experience. No, I don't. At least I worked here before. <laughs> I don't want to remind him of that. I'd counter that argument by suggesting my experience elsewhere more than makes up for it. Yeah, I would counter. Your managerial experience lacks variety. Can you tell me why you've only worked with a small selection of teams? Because I've only been doing it eight years. I've managed three teams in eight years. How many did you expect me to get through? I've shown loyalty. It's fair to say you failed to live up to expectations at your former club. Is it fair though, Lars? Or did they sack me really unfairly? Um, I think we did well. As, oh, I don't want to say that. I wasn't given a chance to see things through. That's the one. Can you explain why you appear? I'm, I'm exploring options. Yes, I work with Uwe. It's part of the recruitment process. Yeah, don't need to make any changes. Long-term vision, defensive, direct, counter-attacking football. See, this doesn't appeal as much as Norwich. Sign players to sell for a profit. Fight bravely against relegation. That's fine. I'll go in and do it. Expecting to battle against relegation, is that realistic? I know this team will finish below Schalke because I've built a very good Schalke squad. 
But yes, we'll avoid relegation. A transfer budget of 88,000. There is no money in Germany. What a contrast to Norwich. Wage budget of next to nothing. Oh, uh, talking of wage budgets, actually, there was another thing I had a little look at when I was trying to justify what's just gone on. Um, if we look at the wage budgets in Germany, team detailed, isn't it? Um, so salary per annum, you can see Schalke are down there. I mean, there's only Aoi who pay less in wages. So actually, Fortuna Dusseldorf do pay a little bit more. But yeah, I was operating on a tiny, tiny budget at Schalke. £23 million wage budget compared to some of these budgets. Oh, dear me. Let's go to let's go to Dusseldorf. Or Norwich. I'd rather go to Norwich. Well, I've just had an interview at Swansea as well, and I am now considered the favourite to take over at Swansea. I would definitely prefer Norwich. But I actually think Swansea is probably the more long-term job because Norwich I'll probably get relegated and sacked. Whereas Swansea, they just want to finish in the top half of the championship. They also are focused in on signing young players in the same way Schalke were, in the same way Peterborough were, in the same way Norwich are. So that puts them ahead of Fortuna Dusseldorf on my preference list. It will be weird being in the same league as Peterborough. Actually, aren't doing as well as they were last time I checked. Um, it would be very weird being back in the same league as my boys. Especially because I know how good that squad is as well. I continue to back myself. Let's hope I get the Swansea or Norwich job soon, please. Oh, now this is a difficult decision because I'm being offered the Fortuna Dusseldorf job. Now, a couple of things to consider here. Thing number one, that is a massive pay cut. I was on, I mean, I know I'm not earning anything now, but I've got my payoff sat there. Um, I was earning 24 grand a week at Schalke. They're offering me nine and a half. And it, I've just literally just said that it's my third choice out of the three. That I mean, I think I'm going to delay it. I'm going to delay it for a week and hope they get an offer from Norwich or Swansea in the meantime. Because I just... Oh, here we go. Now you're talking. I'm off to Norwich, boys and girls. Um, oh dear, this is going to be a disaster. They've not won a game yet this season. Oh, oh, they have. They have now won a game. I'll take credit for that in the history books. Thank you. They were inspired by the thought that I was on my way in. Um, so possession football, youth I mean, I'm, I'm, there's nothing to think about. I'm obviously doing this. They even, not only do they want me to focus on signing youngsters, they want me to get rid of the old men as well. They're not letting me offer long contracts to old folks. Fight bravely against relegation. I mean, I will negotiate to try and get a little bit more money out of them um, because that's what you do, isn't it, in this situation, especially with multiple job offers on the table. See if I can get 36 grand out of them. 31 and a half. I've fallen on my feet here. I've been out of work for, what, three weeks? And I'm taking a massive pay rise to go back to England. 32 and a half thousand pounds a week. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you are looking at the new manager of Norwich City Football Club. Norwich have today confirmed the appointment of Kevin Chapman as the club's new manager. Eyebrows have been raised in the world of football at the appointment of the 47-year-old, goodness me, who's recently spent time away from club football. I just had a little holiday in Germany and is sure to face plenty of questions. Imagine being a Norwich fan, the guy who left Peterborough after seven games last year because he couldn't win a game. And I've now been brought in as the man to save you. I wouldn't be very happy if I was um, <laughs> if I was a Norwich fan. Uh, some factions in the media have been touting me as favourite for the job all along. Exactly. I rejected the offer from Fortuna Dusseldorf um, and we need to win some football matches. Right, we'll... We'll have a quick look to see what's going on here at Norwich. It won't necessarily be as in-depth as my normal first looks at a club because, A, we've done a Norwich video this year already that's on the channel, so we kind of know the structure of the club, although we are a bit further in the future. But, B, this has already been a very long video, and I don't want to give the game away too much that I got fired in it. Um, so, um, right, let's get straight into two things. Money, they have got money in the bank, they've got money to spend, the projection is okay. No massive, no half a billion pound debt. That's nice. Are they still playing at Carrow Road? Um, they are. Did the, did the new chairman come in? Because imagine that as a twist in the tail. The takeover happens and they sack me. No, there you go. So the takeover happened two days ago. Two days ago. So weirdly, I was interviewed by the previous guy. 
the new person takes over. I guess it is promotion from within, and they've appointed me off the back of that interview, but didn't feel the need to re-interview me. So that's nice. Who are the best players here? Is there anyone that I'm going to recognise? Let's sort this and have a little look. I mean, there's lots of names I'm not really that familiar with here. Lots of old men. It's it's a very similar job to what I had walking into Schalke. If we look at the age of this squad, I can see why they're prioritising youth because half the first team squad are over 30. So we've got a big rebuild on our hands. But in the meantime, we've got to figure out a way to keep Norwich in the Premier League, which is going to be easier said than done. We face Leeds in a couple of days' time in a must-win game. Guess I need to buy myself an Nor a Norwich shirt and see if they sell gilets. This was not how today's episode was supposed to go. If you've enjoyed that, please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for me. Subscribe to the channel for daily Football Manager videos. Thank you very much for watching.